Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. So, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice is the first movie in the DC Cinematic Universe. Well, technically, Man of Steel is, but this is the first movie that is expanding upon it. And it stars Batman and Superman and the Dawn of Justice. That's an incredibly basic description of the movie, but there's a lot to talk about in this movie, so I'm going to try to keep this down to a minimum. And for the record, this is going to be a spoiler-free review, so I'm not going to talk too much about certain things. So let's get started. So this movie takes place about two years after the events of Man of Steel, where Metropolis was basically laid bare, for the most part. Superman has become a known entity in the world, and there's always a division between whether he's a good guy or a bad guy, whether he's doing the right thing, or whether he's just biding his time and trying to destroy the planet. Now right there, I like that little duality of how people see him, whether he's a savior or the devil, and that shows itself throughout the entire movie. Henry Cavill, once again, is playing the role of Superman slash Clark Kent slash kal -El, and he does a fine job. But let's get right down to one of the bigger things I want to talk about. Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Batman. And from what I saw, he deserves every recognition available because Ben Affleck completely owned that role. Props to him. You remember about a couple years ago when it was first announced that Ben Affleck would be taking that role, and the whole world collectively just sighed like, Ugh, why would you do that? And then as you saw more and more trailers, you begin to have tensions ease a little. So you begin to go from, ugh, to, oh, okay, to, hmm, this is good, to, oh my god, he looks good. And then you see the movie, and he looks fantastic. He acts fantastic. He definitely captures that essence as an older, angrier, douchey Bruce Wayne kind of, sort of. Casting department, thumbs up. Really, every actor in the movie does a fine job, but last but not least... We should talk about Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. Eisenberg was definitely a fascinating choice for Lex Luthor, to say the least. And from the reviews I've been getting, which I'll talk about a little bit, you either love him or hate him. And me, personally, I don't hate him. I don't even really dislike him. He's just kind of in the middle for me. Because on one hand, you have him as this really quirky, kind of oddball Lex Luthor. And on the other hand, you have this not so quirky, sinister Lex Luthor. They're definitely playing two sides of the issue. I mean, he was likable in some scenes and just... What the fuck in other scenes? He's not bald for most of the movie. You can see him with his little hair down or whatever. So that may irritate some fans a little bit. But for the most part, I could deal with him on screen. So, yeah, cast in the apartment can really take some A's on this one. And the whole theme of the movie is actually pretty good. It's Batman versus Superman, and they eventually fight. I mean, we all know that because it's in the title of the fucking movie. But there's tons and tons of problems in this movie, which explains the very bad reviews. And when I mean bad, I mean, holy shit, like, 33% on Rotten Tomatoes as of this review. Let me point out one of the biggest problems. The biggest problem is the pacing in this movie, because it seems like scenes jump from one to the next with all different kinds of tones in them. One scene sounds like it's kind of going to be action-packed. Another one just sounds kind of low and dreary. And then it just shifts from location to location, and you're kind of confused of what's going on. The first two acts of this movie are slow as hell. Really, there's almost no action in the first two acts of the movie. It's just dialogue and build-up and tension. The tension was good, I will say that, but it's just dialogue, tension, build-up, and whatnot throughout the whole time, with a few bits of action scattered in between. So, it's very slow, and it's kind of boring, and there's plenty of scenes in there that I just did not care about as a person. But when you get to the third act, oh man, is that third act worth everything. That third act is basically everything you would come to look for. It's where the fight we've been looking for takes place, Batman versus Superman, as well as the ending fights in general with everything, and they are nothing if not spectacular. At the very least, they're awesome to me. And it was completely worth the build-up. I honestly just wish that this build-up could have happened like an hour and a half earlier so that we'd have some interest going into the rest of the movie because it seemed to drag on and on and on. I actually sat there for a minute and told myself, you know what, okay, that scene didn't need to be there. That scene didn't need to be there. That didn't need to be there. We could have did without any of those scenes. They could have been replaced by something else that got the audience a little more into it than that. And another thing that's in the movie, there's all kinds of references to other parts of the DC Universe. I mean, 
In a comic book movie, you kind of expect that, but some of these references are very blatant, and they just feel very shoehorned into the movie. And you can definitely tell they're shoehorned into the movie as fan service, and, it's, and it shows. But me personally, I kind of sort of enjoyed it, but still, you definitely know that they're just doing that for fan service, and they just want you to pay attention because they have to have their Justice League movie in the future. I don't feel that's a spoiler saying there's going to be a Justice League movie in the future because the news has been out for about two years that Justice League is going to be part of the DC Cinematic Universe's lineup. So, yeah. And three members of the Justice League are already in the movie as it is. Speaking of which, I forgot to talk about Wonder Woman. For the few scenes she's in, she does a bang-up job. I wasn't really worried about her as a character in this movie. I didn't think she was shoehorned in that much. She did a pretty serviceable job, and when she was on screen, I definitely think this Wonder Woman movie coming up is going to do pretty well, all things considered. So all in all, my honest opinion of the movie, I can definitely see why it's flawed. I can definitely see why it's getting criticized because there are things to criticize. But at the same time, all this hate it's getting on every review and these low ratings are not completely deserved. Some of it is completely unjustified. Kind of like with Man of Steel, and I feel like this is going to be a thing with DC. I feel like people reviewing this can cut them a little bit of slack. I mean, I know it's flawed. It's not perfect, not a masterpiece by any stretch of the imagination. But it's fun as hell to watch. It's awesome. The action is enjoyable. Very enjoyable. Ben Affleck was everything I thought he wouldn't be or what many people thought he wouldn't be. He was good. Really, everyone in the movie acted their own part. So, with that being said, it's a little bit divisive for me, but I will give this movie a silver ribbon rating. Now, this is not to say I hated the movie. I didn't hate the movie. I thought it was enjoyable. I just didn't think it was the awesomeness that everyone would expect. Well, actually, the awesomeness is just in the third act. But everything else is so-so. And in case anyone asks, I will be doing a spoiler filled review later on, so keep that in mind for everyone who's already seen the movie, which I assume a bunch of you have. Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. Have you seen it yet? What do you think? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? What was your favorite part of the movie? Whatever you think, leave me a comment below and tell me how you feel. Also, don't forget to check out my Twitter at Asteroid Mike. Don't forget to check out my blog. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click on the links below or on the next page. And as always, I will see you around.